Hello, uh, welcome to a little video. We're here with James at TI22, James Walker, um, and we want to do a very, very quick video for once, because we're both ramblers, but not like that, um, on car covers. Because car covers we often get asked about, and we get people saying, I've got a car cover and I want to put my car, is it going to damage the paint? And my reply uh, has always been, car covers, however soft they are, however clean the car, however clean the environment, is I tend to advise against them. I say go for a carcoon or an air chamber, which is a, a rigid frame with um, kind of an air bubble, so to speak, um, with often with fans to reduce moisture, so it just keeps a constant airflow through. Obviously, they take space, they cost money, they can be a bit of a faff, so they're not ideal if you're using the car every day. But then, James, you had a slightly different opinion. We agreed on external sort of tarpaulin style covers. 100%, yeah. And explain what the risks of those are. Um, so the well, the, you know, even if you put the car in clean and, and underneath, they're not a car coon, as we've discussed. Mm -hmm. So uh, environmental contamination, dirt, dust, anything else can get underneath. Mm -hmm. So they're not going to keep the car clean. Um, and the the number one thing really is you can't stop them vibrating and flapping in the wind. So they're going to vibrate in the wind where those vibrating sections touch the bodywork they're going to mar the paintwork and we quite often see probably every detailer who's watching this sees two or three cars a year where it's just got like a hundred dull patches all yeah. over it and that's from an, an, an outdoor cover which um, are normally not as soft and also they're, they're waterproof by their very nature you so can you know but a lot of people get an indoor cover and then say well i'll put an outdoor cover over my soft. indoor cover yeah and you know that's not a perfect solution either so that well. is that better than just having the tarpaulin over the top i imagine probably is um it, it probably is i think with all of this stuff you know a wise person once said to me um you can always tell a lot about a person by how they answer a question um, an intelligent person will, will answer a lot of questions with it depends <laughs> um, and i think car covers are, are definitely an it depends thing because there's a lot of the time there's no right answers are there so you know for indoor covers you know if if you leave a car there just bare then it will collect dust how do you get the dust off well you know a lot of old classics don't like to get wet they, they will hold water in a lot of yeah. hidden areas and stuff so you don't want to get them wet so you don't want to rinse dust off um, but equally if you take it off like the old California dust away or something yeah. you, you can mark them because they can have yeah. really soft easily marked paint so generally speaking if you do have a car that's just dusty um, I mean the safest way of doing that is a soft microfiber and a quick detailer spray to help the lubrication would be what I would normally suggest are you going to yeah. Uh, yeah yeah that's not bad at all actually the wetter you can get them the better so yeah, yeah. Um, Quick detailer, or I'm not a massive advocate for ONR, but probably ONR. Something is a good like that. Way. Something that simply lubricates the dust out of them is, is a great idea. Um, and then with the indoor ones, I know a lot of the damage is actually done when people are putting them on and off. So what I would suggest, if you have a soft, tailored indoor one and the car is perfectly clean and the cover is clean as well, don't dump the cover on the on the floor once you've done it. Is potentially try and get a friend or a relative to stretch the cover over so yeah. there's less movement. A lot of the really good tailored covers these days uh, haven't got anything that can mark a car when you put them on. So all that you need to do is just make sure the car's clean, make sure the cover's clean and dry, and obviously you haven't just driven it in so the brakes and the engine aren't red hot. Um, <laughs> Otherwise you have a nice way of transporting fire from the brakes to yeah, the rest of And the actually a bigger risk for marring paint is you'll probably want to put the car on a conditioner. Mm -hmm. um, so make sure that the lead for the conditioner get an extension lead or something so that it doesn't drag. Weirdly, why did conditioner mm -hmm. manufacturers only put like a one meter lead on A one meter lead and made of the hardest plastic you can it's imagine that's going to move around. incredibly annoying. So make sure that's not going to mar paint. Um, but then yeah, if you've got a pal that can help you put stuff on, but I put lots of covers on cars um, on my own. Mm -hmm. As long as the, co the cover's clean and the car's clean. It, You're okay. Well, we were talking about moisture is the other thing. So if it's an old barn, so uh, where I grew up is agricultural background, so we've got like a big barn and it's full of bats and stuff. So you have to put a cover on because otherwise the bats die bomb it like stukas. Um, and the problem we found and what you've talked about is how moisture, even if it goes on a dry car and the cover is dry, the, the moisture will form just from the air if you're not in a reasonably warm environment? Yeah, so educate yourself a little bit about dew points. So in winter, you know, it may not be raining, but if it's raining outside, the air will have a high moisture content. Mm -hmm. Then when the air temperature drops, the air's ability to hold moisture reduces. reduces. So you get condensation. So then you get condensation, especially on a car with a lot of hard, cold surfaces. Mm -hmm. So if that barn is at three degrees and you've got an 80% humidity day, 
moisture will form on all those hard surfaces, which the cover will then absorb. So you are then trapping a layer of moisture next to the paint, and that's when we see quite often micro blistering can happen, uh, and that's when a carcoon is really, really good. So if you are storing stuff inside, so long as the place is clean and dry, um, monitor humidity, have a dehumidifier running all the time. Yeah. Because humidity in a lot of ways is the biggest enemy. Absolutely. So anyway, there is our quick guide to car colours, the do's, the don'ts, the if possible try not to's. Um, thank you very much James, it's been a pleasure um, and I'm sure we'll do another little featurette soon.